Ever found yourself puzzled by the frothy layer that seems to insist on crowning your homemade smoothies? This perplexing issue of foam can turn the simple task of making a smoothie into a frustrating endeavor. So what's the science behind this foam formation and how can you control it? Well, get ready to delve into the fascinating world of smoothie science. To understand why smoothies foam, it's essential to first grasp what foam is. In culinary terms, it's a dispersion of gas bubbles in a liquid or solid, characterized by its high surface area and stability. Think of the frothy head on a freshly poured beer or the airy peaks of a meringue. In smoothies, foam takes form when the ingredients are blended, creating an array of bubbles and froth. So, why do smoothies produce foam? It's all about the mechanical process involved in blending. Those rapidly rotating blades subject the mixture to intense agitation. This vigorous action forces air into the liquid, creating tiny air bubbles, and voila, you have foam. The more powerful the blender and the longer the blend, the greater the aeration and the more foam you'll see. But it's not just about the blending. The ingredients themselves have a role to play in foam production. Fruits with their natural sugars and fibers can trap air and contribute to the frothy texture. Dairy products like yogurt or milk can add to the creaminess and foaminess of your smoothie. Each ingredient in your smoothie has its own impact on foam production. Fruits like bananas and peaches, due to their pectin content and natural sugars, can significantly influence the foaminess of your blend. Dairy products such as yogurt and milk can introduce additional creaminess and foaminess. But don't fret if foam is not your thing. There are ways to minimize it. For instance, starting with chilled ingredients can help reduce foam. Likewise, slowing down the blending speed can make a difference. And if you're consistently dealing with foamy smoothies, it might be worth experimenting with different ingredients or blending techniques. It's important to remember that foam doesn't significantly impact the nutritional content of your smoothies. In fact, it might even aid in digestion. So while it may be a bit annoying, it's not necessarily a bad thing. In conclusion, Understanding the science behind smoothie foam can enhance your smoothie making experience. It allows you to control the texture of your beverage and enjoy the process of creation. So, don't be disheartened by a bit of foam on your smoothie. Embrace it, experiment with it, and most importantly, enjoy your delicious, healthy concoction. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and join us at harmonysmoothie.com for more great smoothie recipes and tips.